not sure what happened there. It was very dirty. Woo! Guys, I had the thing spinning because I'm knocking the camera around. I had to switch to my cell phone. And so this is what I get on my cell phone. And you guys are going to have a slightly different camera angle, but it'll work. So I took my phone out of my cute little case. Well, hey there, Lucy. Lovely to see you. Okay, so what I'm working on is um, these are going to be the cover. This is a junk journal kit where it's just going to be easy to make it. And the question I had for you guys before I lost the video, for whatever reason the video decided to freeze on me, um, is should I hole punch all the pages so it's easy for them to find it themselves? Or should I let them choose how they want to hole punch or how they want to bind it and just give them the supplies? That's the question I have for you guys. So... Thank you for helping me decide. But now I've got a, I'm putting the uh, border things on there. And everybody gets two random ones. And it's just whatever two I pick up. It is so weird why it glitched on me like that. I think these look good with the wild papers. I almost feel like I want to make one, too. They're just so cute. This is the chubby one. See, and when they get it, they can choose to make them longer if they want to, shorter if they want to, wider if they want to. Did I put two in there? Oh my gosh, where's my brain today? Nope, just one. It does sound like good fun to put together something like this. All right, this one's a cute one. I like the way that that'll definitely be the top of someone's page. It's just cute like that. All right, two of these, two of these, two of these. What did I do? Did I miscount again? Maybe I gave somebody too many. Well, I guess I pull those other ones away and bring them back. It just works out. And there we go. Oh, pfft. here's the other two. All right, how many of these guys do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that works out beautifully. Now I'm using, these are one of my favorite pairs of fussy cutting scissors. But I'd rather do the long snip. I have to put these back in the shed. These are the ones I do when I'm cutting the tape to prepare the packages. So whenever I make those big, huge, chubby envelopes um, that I mail off in the flat rate envelope for the hardest every month, I think these will be trimmed off the top and side of um, whenever I make those, I tape the top with some tape. Well, one of the hardest, uh, sent a picture of how it just got so beaten up in the mail. I mean, I cannot believe how beaten up it got, um, the envelope. So I'm very relieved that I actually put the tapes on the envelopes. That one fell behind. I like it when it goes biggest to smallest. It bugs me when it falls behind. Okay. All right, we're good on all those baby cakes. I'll put this over in my little package I'm gradually building for Mary. What else do we need in this? Thinking. Oh my gosh, you know what we need in this? a box of yummies that I've been gathering and these I don't know if I showed you guys my 12 by 12 postcard paper that I bought but these are just so dang cute 
Now this is really not 70s themed, but um, they're darn cute. And I sorted them by what's different. So here's four of these ones, two of these ones, one, two, three, four, five, six of these ones. Let me see if I have one that has nine. One, two, four, nope. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. None of them have nine. So we'll just do it this way. Keep them separate. And the reason I sort out um, how many of each. Gosh, these are so cute. This one says it's from 1942, 1944. Those are cute. 1944. And then each one of these. Oops, I almost went to the wrong camera. Each one of these say uh, U.S. Army on the bottom. I just think that's precious. So one of these, one of these, one of these. You guys had no idea how boring my days were. <laughs> I am always making something. Uh, I need to do more crafting. Maybe what I do is just make one complete. That way, whoever gets them gets an idea for what I was thinking when putting these kits together. All right, now we need some real paper. That's what we need. That was a fast 40 minutes, Lynn. Nice to have you back. Lynn, you're such a trooper. How come I have more than nine? Oh, crap. Did I just count wrong again, guys? All right, let's check and make sure they each have one. Yes, 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 yes. I counted from. That's all that happened. All right, well, we're just going to go over there. Crap's falling all over. All right. You know what we should put in these? We should put yummy little fabric things. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and we've got nine of these ones. Oh my gosh, you hit all green lights today. You are the bomb. All right, what do we want to put in these? Fabrics, that's what we want to put in these. Oh my gosh, I can't even open my drawer. This one looks yummy. A little bit of this would be good in a book. I have the perfect one. Oh, wait, wait. It doesn't want to come out of my drawer. So now it'll be two. All right, there we go. Look at this. It's fuzzy. You guys remember fuzzy carpets? It's fuzzy. All right, we've got a little bit of love on this one. Oh, I'll make sure I trim that off so it's burlap. Green and this. We put a little bit of this in there. And then what did I do with that 70s? Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm making a mess over on the side. You don't want to see my floor. Here, make sure you guys don't see my floor because I got a mess going on the floor. It just dropped. All right, these look good. So we don't want to trim too big because these aren't very big. They are tip to tip seven inches. So let's make each of these something like six inches. That sound good? This one's not going to be six inches. Because it's just, I don't have enough of this tassely fun stuff. So we've got two, four, eight. Eight gives me four. So we're going to snip it at three. So one. 
Oh, two. Oh my goodness, this is hard to cut. Three. Four. Are you guys sick of me counting to nine? Yeah. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Did you guys see my goofy ma way of doing math? All right. So this is extra. So let's go put this in with Vanessa's extra stuff. Because I didn't give her the fair amount. All right, it's all good. Oh, how is the raffle ticket? Okay, so the raffle tickets, 15 have sold. Um, and I've decided for sure I'm only going to sell 30 because I don't want people to wait so long in raising funds for the raffle because I wouldn't want to wait, wait that long. And so, yeah, that's, that's what. Well, let's shove this little baby in here first. Well, I'm thinking about the raffle. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't want to, you don't, you don't want to wait that long. So, oh, thank you, Marina. If you guys could help me find 15 more people, because everybody is only allowed to buy one ticket. That way the odds are very fair for folks. Um... I mean, technically, the odds of buying one ticket is, well, never mind. We won't get into the math of it. But everyone, I want them to have an equal chance. That's why I only want to do one ticket per person. And to buy a ticket, Carrie Ann, you send me an email. My email address, Lynn, could you type in my email address? Um, it's also in the description box. Uh-oh, I pushed a button on my thing. There we go. And it's help at disabledartist.org. Ooh, thank you, Laura. Oh my gosh, these look so cute together. Here, I gotta move my, my lacy bits out of the way. All right, I've already trimmed these babies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. It's just, these are the kinds of things I'm doing when I'm making my tassel kits. Is I'm cutting things into somewhere between six inches and 18 inches, so they're all random. And then when people go to make their tassels, they'll have different lengths to work off of, and they can trim it to be this size. Um, how long? Yeah. I try to make most of them 12 inches, but when I get cutting, yeah, it doesn't always come out to 12 inches. It's just whatever it ends up being because I have been trimming so much ribbon, but I want the tassel kits that I make for the hardest to be so much. Yeah, it is to help the foundation. Um, it definitely, it primarily covers shipping, to be honest with you. And I love that we make it nationwide. I'm shifting gears all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but I love to provide these things. And when I get the messages back on email and Facebook Messenger, um, and there's also a closed hardest group where, you know, not everybody's a hardest, not everybody's not a hardest. But um, so people can keep their anonymity if they choose to. You know what? Let's see if I can get this into nine little bitty lacy pieces. All right. So we have four. And put little bits in there. You know, because a little bit of lace never hurt anybody. Take that raggedy one away. One little lacy bit. I feel like the count. Two little lacy bits. Three little lacy bits. This makes me want to do another video for my grandkids. So I have a separate YouTube channel that's private that I sent to my kids who have kids. And I read them books. And um, 
you know, you just never know if you're going to get hit by a bus someday. And I like the idea that my grandkids yet to come and the grandkids that are already here, you know, have the option of meeting me even though I'm so far away. And yeah, the chance of one in... Th oh, it, it's even better, Lynn. I've decided it's only going to be 30 tickets sold. Because I'm too impatient to give it away. I just want to give it away. And no yapping at me that, oh my gosh, you totally should do it. Hey, aren't these three cute? Let's put those in with the three gift packs. Okay. Now we need a chubby little green piece of yumminess. Because you need the texture in there. And we're feeling like the 70s. So we'll trim it down the middle. Let's go about this far. You guys can hear my chair rubbing against this dang thing. I have my door open to my little craft cabinet behind me. Yeah, your chances of winning it is just crazy. You know, I haven't talked to Shelly in a while, but Lynn, I think she's talked to her more recently. Um, I didn't want to bug her because I knew she was mourning her aunt. Um, and that's hard. That is hard. And you never know how close people are sometimes. I'm choosing a size that feels good to me on here. Does this make sense? So if I cut this in half, it feels like this would be a nice little wonky size to fit inside the kits. So if you guys are wondering what, what my brain is thinking while I'm doing things. And it's okay that it's wonky because when people get this, you can actually pull at it and you get these lovely rough edges. Um, if it was me, I'd probably trim that part off too or use that as the bottom for a goofy pocket. Yeah. Have I cut enough off? I don't know, let me see. I gotta count to nine again. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, well, I guess these guys are going to get... Yeah, see, I don't want it to be that long. I think it'd be better short. So... Now we've got enough. I think the nice thing about kits, I don't know if if you guys have done them for yourselves, but make yourself a craft kit one time if you don't have the opportunity to buy one. Go shopping in your own craft room and find a bunch of things that just feel good together. Because one, it feels like you're crafting when you're creating the kit. And two, um, when you go to sit down and make everything, you have it all right at hand. And that is lovely. Um, for those of you hardists who are watching me, um, different kinds of glue work well, but generally if you're working with fabric, go for the wet glues instead of the um, glue stick when you're doing when you're doing the fabrics. Get me making a mess on this person's pot holder. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see you pop in, Dania. Okay, so is it Danya or Dania? I have said your name in my head two different ways for so long now that I kind of want to know. So if it's Dania, Dania, then you know, I don't know how you could phonetically spell it, but I would really, I would really like to know because I don't want to pronounce your name wrong. Yeah, I'll let her know that you asked about her, Dania. I do have to... I do have to get in touch with her at some point. You know, just because I feel like I want to check in on her, make sure she's still emotionally healthy and everything's going well. Because I just adore Shelly. And for those of you who don't know Shelly at Crafting Mamas, she is inspirational on creating crafts that don't cost you a fortune to figure out how to make the things along with her. And she really is great at that. <laughs> People call you anything with a D. 
Oh, that's fun. All right, this one's messy. Just get in there. And the last one. This guy's happy. Oh, you know what it needs now? Buttons. Buttons need to be in these baggies. Let's get some buttons. This is my personal button stash because my buttons for the foundation are not here. They're in the shed. Um, so what do I want to grab out of here? Let's grab some vintage different kinds. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, give me some good colors. Six, seven. Eight. Oh, I need just one more that fits in this scheme. Yep, nine. Although you do look good. I might take this guy out and put this guy in instead. That's nine. Let me see this guy. Take this guy out. Put that guy in. Yep, those look good. Now, these all have the flat backs instead of the holes. I intentionally chose that so it would be similar. Oh my gosh, look at this. So I would consider this glitter. I was talking with Lynn about um, glitter. And um, I haven't opened a single one of my glitter kits. My glitter things. Because I'm petrified of glitter. I'm petrified of making a mess with glitter. Except if you consider talc glitter. Because it's shimmery. Then... Oh, hey there, Arlene. Oh, buttons and bling. It definitely needs buttons and bling. All right, one button. One, two. I still haven't even gotten to the big paper shed. It's going to be a chubby book. I don't want to make it too big, but we're getting up there. The nice thing about doing it in um, the binder rings, the binder rings like this, because then um, they can make it as big or as small as they want, and then use the excess papers and other crafts and projects. All right, let me put this back. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't even trim these babies out yet. These babies need to come out. You guys see what I put in my own stash now. But I do love some crazy stuff. It's just so fun and fuzzy. Oh my gosh. All right. Heads up to those of you who receive these. Um, this is wire. And this one is not. And obviously this comes off pretty easily. So be careful with that. I'll just cut this baby off. And I can use that as two parts anyway, so it's fine. Oh, I'm not going to use it. It's going to go over in my, it's going to Mary stash. Uh -huh. All right, there we go. So six inches each, I think, is good. Oh, and then you can use it however you want. But again, be careful with the wire. Thank you so much, Marina. All right, six inches. Oh, we're going to go a little more than six. Oh, these scissors. Okay, nine of these. And we'll go just over six. Now you guys see why if doing 40 of these kits is just obnoxiously boring. And so now I am no longer, again, hardest, I love you dearly, but it's no longer going to be exactly the same kits for everybody because I have more fun if I'm making kits somewhere between seven and 15. Making less than seven, I just feel like it's not not a good mix. I don't know why. All right, one, two, three, four, five. How many do I have? Nine, right? Oh, I 
pinched my finger. I know, glitter just makes me anxious. I get stressed. I worry I'm going to make a mess. I don't feel that way with the talc because... Oh, well, it's not talc, actually. That's bad for the body. I don't feel that way with mica. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, I can't count to nine. I just count to three, three times. <laughs> oh, hey there, River. It is a pleasure to see you. I am currently making a mess. You know, it's this like dancing snow all over my legs. I feel like I should show you this. Can you see the snow all over my legs? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's just nuts. I should keep saran wrap in here. It's a good way to put the bits in there. Oh my gosh. I just hit that thing again. I'm so sorry. It just, my, um, oh, look at all this time. I haven't even had you on the market. Stay over there. All this time. I can't believe I haven't had you on the microphone. Must have been hard to hear me. Okay. All right. So, because this creases, I think I'm just going to do it this way. Sandwich you in between two each time. Because I don't want to make a mess. Oh my gosh, slime with glitter in your art room. That must have been chaos to clean up. I could not imagine. Uh-oh, did I mess up? Okay. These two, these two. Yeah, I did. These two. Yep. These two. You can't trust me with counting, guys. Okay. Oh, did you guys hear that eBay sound? Obviously. I have something going. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know how to make an Oreo sandwich. Can you tell? Seven. Uh oh. Hey, do I really only have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight kits and I've been counting nine of everything. Oh, that's crazy. That's just crazy. And now I can't even do the little giveaway thing. All right, so here what is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a kit together. I'll fold you in half, put you in here, set one of these nine kits aside, and you are now just going to be a part of somebody else's kit somewhere. I'll set you down here. It's safer. All right. Let's get to the real paper. All right. Two, four, six, eight. All right. Now, now we're making eight because my brain obviously could not. How much was that tassely stuff? Four seventy nine for that row of tassely stuff. You know, I love trim. It is ridiculous how much I have spent on that. Oh, look at this. I forgot these guys. Forgot these guys. All right, we're going to trim these at a little more than six inches. You know what? Instead of doing it that way, let's trim it at an angle. And then square. Take you here. Okay, there's two. Three. I told you I can only count to three three times, but now I gotta count to four twice. Because obviously I can't do any math. You guys never knew I was such a goofball, did you? Well, maybe some of you. 
I'm currently blocking my chat too, so I can't see it right now. I feel like I should have somebody keep count for me because I can't trust myself to do that. All right, there we go. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. I got eight. Eight's good. Let's just put these guys in here because I'm not worried about it. My table's getting crazy. It's time to get normal again. Need to be putting this back in order here pretty soon. Oh my gosh, these are going to be cute. I just love the bits and pieces that are going with it. All right. This guy's done, and I'll put him away. The lace drawer has closed. Bits and pieces. And I gotta move this out of the way so I can see your chat. Yeah, the kit, whenever I make kits, they really do grow. It's a lot of growing. Oh, you know what we need? We need flowers. Let's put these flowers in there. All right, and I don't want the polka dotty ones. I want the ones with the grunged edges. So one, two, three, four. Let's hope there's eight. And there are. See, it's just perfect. Look at that. It's like it was meant to be. Let's put you in with the button. And put you little polka dotty ones back. You know, these have a nice waxy bit to them. Let me see something really quick to see if I have eight of these. Because I save these pieces like this. Yeah. Because it would be good for post-it notes. Post-it notes would be good in one of those things. Let me see if I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, Oh, I have more than eight. Seven, eight. Well, that's good. All right, I got some post-it notes. That'd be right there. These are the ones I have on my desk. You know, Dania, I'm probably coming on again tonight because my husband's going to the UPS store. Um, and when he comes back, I just have the feeling that there's a box in there, donation or something. And I, you know, I... Did I really just put the ones... Oh my gosh, I'm such a dork, guys. Did you see this? I got so distracted thinking about the next thing that I didn't put these away where it goes. Here we go. So now, you know, I'm feeling less guilty after doing all these right now. Here, let's put that over over there. About not wanting to... Oh, look at these. Why do I have these there? Oh, I've got yummy numminess in this bag. So this must have been scraps or a donation. Let me see. Is this something I pulled together? I can't even tell. It looks like something I pulled together when I was creating kits. And I like leaving these off to my side. Oh yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Good sizes too. It's a nice mix. Alright, let's pull some of these out. We need tiny tags. That would be good. Orange and green back from the 70s. That's good. And then let's see if I have eight little flowers like this. Those are little bits. Let me see. More tiny tags. 
more tiny tags. Oh, I've got big tags in here too. I get happy when I find things like this because I think they work nicely. Oh, look at that. Now let's just put these red flowers in here. And now you see how my extra bits make their way into other stuff. It's just a cute cute little pencil thing. Maybe it was something I was making. It's been a while that it's been sitting up there, so. There's never a need to spell correct, by the way. Okay. Let me see. Oh, I didn't finish doing these. Let's do these first before I get too distracted. So, a flower for everybody. Oh my gosh, these are going to be just the cutest. I definitely want to make one now. Maybe I'll come back on later if there are no donations and make one of these. And put one or two of them in the auction. And give the rest to the hardests. I'm blocking my chat again. How come I don't... See, did I just count nine again? Three, six. Oh, look at that. I messed up and put a polka dotty one in there. I don't think the polka dotty one looks good in there. Yeah, there we go. That's better. All right. The sheer stuff looks really good. Layered with a glue stick. One, two, three, four, five, six... Eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's too much. Two little orange sheer things are probably good. And for those of you who do mixed media, you totally get why you need the nearly sheer tissue paper just because it looks good with the mixed media stuff. Yeah, I'll see you again tonight. And I thank you for even mentioning that you'd want to see me again tonight. I always worry that some of the videos I make might not be... Because they're so different than videos other smart artists make. You know, there's people who have all these fabulous crafting ideas. And my real day is what I share with you. And that's, that's what I share. Okay. So now let me find my mini cutter, which is like my favorite cutter. And I hope it's right near me. It's not. Dag nabbit. I'm going to see if it's on the other side of the table. And it's not. Do you guys want to know an egregious haul that I made it Tuesday morning the other day? I'm going to share this with you, but you please don't make fun of me. Okay, so I got these just because I thought the golden shiny was something on a different project that I'm working on. I thought that would be really, really good. Um, and then, please do not make fun of me for how much I spent on these. But it's 30 sheets of the most amazing stickers that I think will make the most amazing embellishments. And so let's do this. Let's take one of these fabulous sticker books as a good color scheme. Yes, it was quite the haul. I said, no, making fun of me for this. Here, this is a good color scheme for our mix. All right, and we'll do this one. A sheet of this for everyone.
But it's not a crazy haul. I mean, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Pull that down. All right, and pull one of these out for everybody. Let's make sure we pick good ones, too. All right, that would be good in a recipe book. Um, you can do it, celebrate, friend. Yeah, this would be good for a recipe book. No, not this one. Not that one. Make it shine, good times. No, not that one. This would be great for a recipe book. Now I have three. Um, I don't know about that one. I don't know. Yes. Four. Yes. Five. Yes. Six. And I love that everyone's going to be different. Oh, this is perfect. Seven, because it even says the sweetest thing. I don't know about that one. And we have this one. Eight. That is perfect. So now you guys see why I bought all those. Because, you know, when I'm making kits, it allows me to give somebody something different. And if they were to buy more than one kit, or if I'm giving it to a hardest and I accidentally send them the same kit two months in a row, because I don't necessarily always do these every single month like this, where, you know, it'll happen less now that I'm making the kits in smaller groupings, but... Um, yeah, I feel... I feel guilty, but sometimes I worry that I accidentally say, send the same something to someone. That, that worries me. All right. So now those are there. Let's pull these all out of their plastic baggies. And we're going to trim these down. I wish I knew what I did with my little favorite cut. Oh, I found it. He's sitting on my desk. Why didn't I look on the desk? So I'm trimming the top off and let's trim the crap off the back and see that can be used in the book if they want. See, he fits. Ish, you got to round the corners if you're putting it in your book. All right, but that's the plan. So I'll set you there and just pull all of these out. And what did I say? I had eight, four, eight, yep. You know, I actually reuse all these baggies when I'm making kits. So that just... There's not a lot of waste that happens, although the top and bottom of this are going to be waste. What is Eureka? What was the Eureka? I would do these on Etsy, but you know how much time it takes to list things on Etsy? It's just such a hassle. And then now with all the tax stuff, I worry about how much extra work that's going to be on the back side. I don't know. And then because I already pay tax on the things that I sometimes resell... That's not good business sense either. All right. Recycle. Look at that. That is a beautiful cardstock and it's a good thickness too. And even better, it can hold a couple of sheets of post-it note. Oh, did I get that right? No, I didn't. It can hold a couple of sheets of post-it note and it'll come right off. Oh, I'm suddenly getting hungry. But I want to get a little further in these. I feel like it's not going to be a whole lot longer. I just wanted a couple of big pages in there so they can decide what they want to do with the big pages.
This one looks exceptionally yeah, out here, big. All right. Isn't that the cutest cutter? And it's so quick, too. I don't know why I was looking for it. All right. Make sure I don't have anything that looks like it's packaging. Nope. And now, move my cute little cutter over to the side and move this paper over to the side. We're going to put post-it notes. I don't know how many post-it notes I have, but let's assume I can do three of each on each one. I'll keep it a little to the right in case they want to do hole punches. Totally think you should hold. Okay, so I never got feedback on that. Should I let them? Three. Should I let them do their own hole punching? To decide how they want to do it, or should I do the work of the hole punching? I'm looking for feedback. Yeah, there's a delay, but I'm looking for it. Oh, why do I still have this one on? Oh, you know what? I should check. I should check. Ow! I just totally pinched my finger. Oh, man. I don't want to be pinching my finger. That hurt. There's something that I'm hoping for. eBay notifications. No, not what I was hoping for. Oh, well, I guess I missed it, but it's fine. It's no big deal. Okay, let them do it. Good, it saves me work, too. Okay, one, two, three. All right, with that said, if I let them do it, um, I think what I'm going to do is, oh, I hope I have enough. Oh, that's the last one, so I have enough. Oh, good, I have some post-it notes left for me. Okay. Not that I'll ever use it for me. I'm probably going to end up doing the same thing. Okay, one, two. These are so Florida. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Guys, I can count to three. Wow, I really got my finger good. And it's always the same bad finger. Although the finger doesn't hurt as bad today as it did that first day when I crushed it. And I'm surprised it is not like one big giant black and blue thing. Because one paver on its corner fell right on my finger. Took a little chunk out. And then, um, you know, it, I couldn't even bend that part for a little bit. Eh, it's fine now. I'm a pansy when it comes to my fingers and toes. I'm just an absolute... Oh, look at this. I did it the wrong way, so if they go to hole punch it, let's make sure I kept them on both on the right side for all of them. There we go. That way they don't accidentally hole punch through their little pelican on the back side. All right. so much fun. I'm such a two-year-old. Alright. I'm getting closer to feeling like this feels good. Alright, put my post-it notes over here. Take a sip of water. Put this guy down here. And now, let's just pile you guys in safely. Because I always worry about bunching the papers when I put the stuff in there. Well, hey there, Arlene, and hey there, Kim. Let's 
sitting there looking at you guys and you didn't even catch your names when you first came in. And is it just me that when we say hello to all the people that arrive, it feels like howdy doody time? Well, maybe it just feels like me, but it does. Okay, one, two. Let's just make little piles of eight and see what I can get away with. What is this? Oh, this is from the sticky notes. Let's save those. Get this little pile in my hands, maybe. Yeah, just go for it. It'll be easier to put it in a stack if I do it this way. They're not all the same size. Look at that. These are must be off cuts. That's okay. Oh my gosh, how 70s is this paper? That's good stuff. All right. Slightly smaller. So these are little. These are bigger. Little scraps. I'll be able to give them some cute tags. Go with the bigger ones. Some little ones. Now you guys see why it takes so long to pull these little babies together. And so if you're ever buying a kit from someone and you're asking, hey, I could totally make that for so much less. Well, but then you got to pull it together. You got to do all the shopping. And then you're not just buying. Well, in these cases, these are things I've die cut. But I wish I had more of those ones. Okay, one. I'm just going to keep going on these as long as I can for these eight. But the time it takes to pull these things together, it's not small. I'm trying to give them all different colors. That's it. Okay, let's go with these guys. Oh yeah, you know something I need to make sure that everybody knows it's the first week next month instead of the second week next month. And again, I'm trying to just give different colors. You guys are going to love the Golden Book Kits. Oh my gosh, they're so freaking adorable. But it took me a long time to pull those baby cakes together um and now the fun part is putting the golden books with it oh, these are so 70s how perfect is that oh and there are let's pull this big chubby guy and put him there all right put this over with mary stuff that's cute isn't this just a wonky flower he's cute okay there you go, Mary. It's coming to you one of these days. One of these days. Because I'm not doing a good job at getting it out there yet. And it's the tiniest little pile. It's just a pile of things I think you would enjoy crafting with. And I feel bad because I think I missed her D-stash. No, no. Oh, I found my stamps. Like the real stamps. This is where they are. Let's put some real stamps in here. And you know, you may have a gem in one of these stamps. I do not check my stamps. 
Um, just never know. So just check the stamps before you go and glue them down to something. Oh, let's just give them more. Oh, they're so cute. I love stamps. There's something fabulous about them. I have some envelopes over here that um, were donated. We can use some of these fabulous envelopes. These were made by uh, Patricia. Creative Trish. Let's do the brown ones. Oh my god, they're gorgeous too. All right, brown ones they are. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And she hand dyed them too. They are just fabulous feeling. And now you have something cute to put them in. I'm always fuzzy. I live, I, I call it to my husband, fuzzy headed. And it took him probably like four or five years to finally ask me, what do you mean by fuzzy headed? <laughs> and uh, it's just the way the, it's the best description for the migraine. It's like when it buzzes, like you, I don't know how to describe it. It's not quite a buzz, but it's, it's not just the thumping. It's it's where you just can't always think straight. So I get f fuzzy headed. And I always blame it on coffee or something like that. Okay. Aren't these envelopes amazing? What are you multitasking on? Oh yeah, you're a three-year-old. That is definitely multitasking. little babies in here. It's time to get to the real paper. I think we have enough tiny things that go well in the kits. There we go. Yeah, we have enough tiny things. Let's put these in the envelopes, I think. I'm afraid of smashing the tissue paper now. That's the concern. So I have to put it behind something to make sure I don't smash the tissue paper. Holy smack of Carla's in the house. If you guys have not checked out Carla's videos, you really should. <laughs> You're lurking for work again. I just adore you, Carla. And that package you sent, oh my gosh, that I won in Scotty's auction... Holy smacks, those are going to be the best Christmas kits. I cannot wait to make Christmas kits out of those. Definitely a good package. And when I say Christmas kits, I mean Christmas junk journal kits. Because for me personally, making junk journals is a bit of freedom. And then when you want to paint in your junk journal, or if you want to do any kind of gluing or art or whatever, it's a junk journal. So you're free. You can just do whatever you feel like doing. Yeah, it's it's refreshing. Speaking of refreshing, I need some more water. So what I'm working on today is making these fabulous kits. And I already love them. And they're going to be recipe kits. I suppose they can make it anything they want to make it. But it seems like they should be recipe kits because, oh, what am I dropping on the other side? I'm sorry. I'm making a mess. Sorry for the noise. Okay. But imagine this. You, here's the bottom. It's a pot holder. And here's the top. And then everybody gets two of the big binding clips. And then... All of these shenanigans, and then now let's give everybody some paper because you want more than just the four by six sheets, which it's going to be a lot of pages, so you definitely want to hole punch it. Yeah, you definitely want to hole punch it. 
because when you put your pages in here, it's going to come out a little bit. Yeah, that's already a lot of pages. Oh, I want to make one. That's it. I want to make one. It's official. Okay. So now I want to do the papers. So I have this stack and this stack. And this one I got specifically for the kits. I don't know how they'll want to use them. Hopefully I have enough tabs. Yeah, I only have six tabs, not eight tabs. So we'll set these aside. We'll only use the inside because I want to make it more fair. I do have a tab maker, so let me see. Yeah, I think it'd cut off too much if I made a tab, unless I made it like right there. But now I think it'll be better if, yeah. I'm not gonna fold it for the people. I think I'm just gonna divvy them out and they can decide how to cut them. And when I do my sample, they'll see how I made whatever it is. So let's divvy these out into piles. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Now I need my big table. Six, seven, eight. So I have enough to give everybody one green. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enough to give one of those. Yeah, this is going to be nice. And then I'll have extras. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How boring to just watch me count. I think the pot holders are awesome. Um, I would like to say that they were donated, but no, I bought them because I just thought they were fabulous and it was a very reasonable price. And I thought, oh, we can totally do something fun with these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I somehow miscounted the yellow ones. Count them because there's been two of each color, which means I should just count off two and then set it aside. But with my luck, there'll be six of this color. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally understand though, Arlene. Although mine's not a stroke, it's just a dumb migraine that turned on and just didn't turn off. And you'd think that the brain would figure out how to turn it off, you know, but no, it does what it wants to do. And I've really been whining about it lately. I not count this one right. So I'm sorry for whining about it. Oh well. Somebody's going to end up getting two because I can't figure out why there's... Oh, nope, there's two on the back side. Two. Oh, there's only three of those. And these are all different. Yeah, those are all different. All right, so if these are all different, let's see if I can just change it up for the fun folks. One, two, three, four. I don't know about that one. Five, six, seven. Yep, we'll put this one in, not that one. These are my leftover pages. And so what I'm thinking, like if I was making this, is I'd try to find my fold where it lines up with whatever my two holes are, right? And so whatever the fold is that allows me to line up the holes, I'll fold it there and then fold again here and make it the width of the book that I want. Now, it is wider than the book itself, but that doesn't mean you can't fold it in too. So that's probably what I'm personally going to end up doing. But hopefully that helps people 
if they don't watch whatever my make it video is um, who end up buying it let me set that aside too and you go in here I love the random random bag of bits <laughs> I just oh, I'm such a dork hey Carla can I ask you a favor can you plug my um, next time you do a video the vagabond uh, oh what do you even call that I'm afraid of using the word raffle because there's a lot of connotations associated with the word raffle but we'll call it a drawing and for when people make a donation of ten dollars they just send me uh, an email um, and I send them the PayPal invo invoice asking for a donation of ten dollars and then I send a cute little, and this is what the ticket looks like. I send a picture of whatever their ticket number is. Um, and then I write their name on the back of both. And once I'm done, I'll make little, I always say I'm going to do this and I never get around to this and I feel so bad. Um, but once I'm done, I'll make little thank you cards with their little ticket number. And then for the winner, it'll be a thank you card with the ticket number and the vagabond. Um, and people can only do uh, a $10 donation or more, but still only do one ticket per person, maximum, maximum. Um, do you fit in here? No. Okay, so I'm going to have to do this in the sideways way. Oh, this part's not going to be fun for you guys. I'm sorry. I need more fingers. I gotta think for a second, so I don't wanna miss any one of these, so I'm not looking at anything for a second. Isn't it bad that I have to think to do this? Oh my gosh, goodness, 12 groups. Marina, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Holy smacks. Well, that's a good point. I'm not sure what you could do on top of that, darling Carla. I think I have two sets of red that I'm not using because my red feels a little chubby in my fingertips here. That's okay. I'll have extra reds. Isn't this bad? I have to consciously think about sorting when I do it like this. That is so bad. Oh, look at that. It's all the pink ones. How many pink ones do I have? Did I do all eight or did I actually get them in the right spot? Yep, all eight are missing a pink one, so that makes it easier. <laughs> Marina's after your pee. You know, Lynn does such an amazing job that I, I swear she, she should have the title of PR manager for the foundation. And um, Lynn has the beautiful task. You get to learn how fun this is here in a bit, Lynn. Um, the beautiful task of actually doing a kit for one of the hardest directly. And she's mailing it directly from her house. And I really appreciate that, Lynn. Um, and remind me after I'm done with the, the video, Lynn, that uh, there is one more thing i got to tell you about a restriction on what to send. 
because there there are some restrictions sometimes. I can't believe you did it on 12 groups. That is so awesome. <laughs> oh, that is dreamy. I'm so happy. Man, wouldn't it be fun if I was able to actually do the giveaway today or tomorrow? Oh my gosh, that would be heavenly. Okay, now I need to start actually making these look like kits. And I'm sorry, but you're going to have noise. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Why did I count twelve? I don't need twelve. I need eight. One, two. Need eight of these. Okay, that's seven, woman. Okay, now I have eight. Now we're going to start feeling like a kit. Put that away. And yep, this is how obnoxious and annoying it is when I'm making these kits. <laughs> oh, man. But they are so... Whoops. They're so cute when they're done. You know. Oh my gosh, did you guys just see my crazy hair? I need to move my camera again. I'm sorry about that. I have some seriously crazy hair happening today. Let's just put you in the back. That's where you want to be. That part is done, and then you get a cutesy little bag, too. All right, now they're starting to look like a kit. And all that's missing is the 8 by 8.5 by 11 papers. Oops, I forgot this guy. He can go right here because that's a little waxy on the paper. And I'll reuse my Ziplocs. And yep, I am that frugal, guys. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. There we go. These papers are completely different from kit to kit, too. Yes, I get excited. I do. I get genuinely... What did you tell me? <laughs> that is true. So you end up joining them all plus your own. <laughs> that That is true. They do spill over a lot. Okay. Well, if anybody wants a chance at a vagabond... And a lot of people may not even know what a vagabond is. Um... But it's the electronic die cutting machine made by Tim Holtz. Len, am I getting better? I'm going to stack this in such a way that I'm not going to be able to see anything. I need to get myself something to put them in. All right, now I got to pick up the papers I dropped on the floor before I smush them. And put my other papers away down here. recipe pages. My cutter has to move over here. 
and these cute little things. Yeah, I know you can't see it, and I'm talking out loud like you can see it, but um, I suppose if my camera moved again, you could see my craziness. But now this will make more sense. I just needed an empty box. Make sure I don't have any addresses. Yeah, I've already ripped off the address. Okay, we're good. And I'm gonna put the empty box in the chair and I gotta stand for a second. It is a cool raffle item. And for $10, your odds are so good because there's only 30 people. Oh, what am I doing? I'm covering up what I'm doing. Let me just do it this way to make it more firm. I don't have the original box for the Vagabond, but it is brand new. Has the cord and everything. I didn't test it. I should test it, huh? Just to make sure that nothing happened to it in the shipping when it came to me. I told my husband that what I might do, <laughs> and this is so bad, I told my husband what I might do is keep the Vagabond and just send an Amazon Vagabond <laughs> to, to whoever wins. <sighs> That's something I would do. Okay, guys, I dropped one. Let me make sure that I have two in this one. Nope, it is this one that I dropped. That's good to know. Oh, yeah, he found it funny. He found it funny. He said something like, seems like something you would do. <laughs> All right. Just go in and add these envelopes. And you guys might ask why I do it this way. I repackage, I guess. Um, I don't know the answer. It's just because I usually start off small when I start pulling the kits together and I go bigger. Or I start off bigger and then when I do the smaller, I'll, I don't always do it on the same days at the same times. We have three kits nearly done. All we have to do is do the four pages out of this, but that'll be the last part. Well, I'm glad you like them. And But now you guys kind of see how it's fun, like almost feels like art when you're making the kit of pulling the things together, you know? Or at least it does to me. Maybe I'm just goofy. And then you can just sit down and you have everything you need. You just bring your glue and your hole punch and your scissors and you're good to go. And I'm looking forward to making a kit too. Oh, you know what? I have a perfect thing to add to the kit. Oh my gosh, my brain just remembered something that I made a while back. It's in a different room. It's in the kitchen, actually. Oh, I'm kind of excited about it. So I just can't stop. That's the problem. I think that's the problem. Just keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny on kits. Because then I start thinking of other things that would go with it. And this is perfect. Okay, so as soon as I am done loading the small things. I love the four by six papers. It's just so, so the perfect size. And I suppose on these big papers, 
the way I'm thinking I'm going to do it is um, to just cut the big papers into the shape of an octagon. Or see how it folds in half, what size that comes out to be. Oh, I'm sorry if this is squeaky messy on you guys. Yeah, I'll be making mine before the auction, and I'll probably put mine in the auction because I don't actually need another recipe book because I have a really cool one downstairs. But I just like the act of making them. Is that bad? You know, there's no such thing as a crappy junk journal for me. They are... I just I have so much fun making junk journals that... It is just my little bit of heaven. All right, so what do you guys think? And let's say I put... Well, I guess I can just auction them. Yeah, never mind. I just auction them. So that's the nice thing about doing the auctions. I don't have to think about how much to price things at. Oh, be careful in there. Stamps. I just, it, why is it that Hollywood goes with recipes? I don't know the answer to that. You know, I was originally thinking 70s theme, but this is not quite 70s either. But the oranges and greens and browns tie out. At least it has some, some character together. You know, and when I do whatever my kit is, I'll probably leave some of the stuff so they can finish decorating. That way they can enjoy doing part of the make. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Once I get going, I never, never know. Oops. I attached it to the paper. <laughs> I mean to the plastic. All right, there we go. The most important piece is not even in these ones. I forgot to put the pot holders in all the big ones. So let's get the pot holders in those too. You guys are going to hear me huffing and, oh my gosh, a big general hello to the lovely Rose. Rose, I am currently working on, and not every artist is going to get these ones, but these are going to be recipe junk journals. And the recipe junk journals are completely random kits of all different kinds of things with the vibe of the 70s. Uh, it has like a pot holder for the front and back of the journal and a bunch of random supplies. And these are all four by six sheets. Um, another reminder to people is that these really are not safe to be used just as pages because it cracks. It, they 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 break they're brittle but they're good for layering uh, when you're making your embellishments because they are truly vintage pages you know what I should have done on the stamps is just make sure they didn't end up with the same stamp in case there were multiples in different sizes all right so now I want to add the pot holders I think I'll just be safe to add it in the back. Two for you. And these are hand crocheted pot holders. I think it's crochet, right? Can somebody tell me? Is it crochet or is it knit? They're so freaking fun. Oh my gosh, I love the idea of it. And thank Lynn for the idea of making them into the junk journal kits with the binder rings, because I do think that makes it the easiest. Yeah, Lynn is definitely the spoiler of the hardests because of how much she donates. Oh my gosh, what did I do? Oh, there is, there's a, oh, I got nervous, but there, it's in that one. Oh, I thought I miscounted again. I was about to make fun of myself. All right, so now we're good with these kits. And the kits are big enough and chubby enough. They're starting to stand on their own. Let's divvy out the papers. We 
I got this paper at Joann's. It's their Park Lane paper. Yeah, I think that's the funniest thing, Lynn, is because if we use the binder clips, you can just remove a pot holder and use it. <laughs> I think that's great. <laughs> you got your recipe out and you set it down. Oh, got the paper out. Okay, look at this beautiful paper. And give me a second because I'm running down the stairs. And you guys know that I save everything, right? So this right here is coming off. Let's trim this out. You know, because you never know if you need this in a different thing. And they're just such cute sizes. See, I don't save everything. That's going in the trash. All right, so let's trim these babies out. didn't want to see the carryover that's why I have the little strips to get the little carryover out of the way all right that's it can hardly see it on that paper holy smack of ginolis okay five pretty little papers and I'm not going to use this one in the journal I don't think four pretty little papers yeah let's do five five pretty little papers and you're going to go into my junk bag Which is good, if you guys don't do this, you, you should do something like this, because the stuff that you have that, yeah, you could probably go in and put all these cute things away, that would be good. Oh, you know what I don't have in here? I don't have cute little folders. All right, I'm running downstairs because I need to get two things. So I'm gonna be huffing and puffing. So go get your whatever it is you're gonna go get, like your drink or something, and I'll be right back. away I've already put all my folders away and this little kit needs little itty bitty folders cuz I like that okay so check this out this is my own personal cookbook yeah you need to use your junk bag gotta love those Okay. and these are things that I have done for years but I never 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 use these recipes and I made these a long time ago and they're so darn cute so let's pull out eight of these cutesy little recipes okay how many do I just grab one two three four five these are things my husband can't have anymore anyway so oh he can have the mint water bellum salad Definitely no empanadas for him. Spinach and basil. Halibut and orange. Actually, I make salmon with orange. Um. All right, do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, how perfect is that? Everybody gets one of my personal recipe things. And then these are blank back here. How cool is this? So let me see how many pages of this I have left. Oh, I only have six. Well, that ain't happening. Do I have eight of these? 
Yep. So I'll pull out eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, because of copyright laws, I don't want to photocopy it. It's like my favorite um, recipe book of my crap that's always, <laughs> always there when I need it. It's just always there. It makes me happy. Okay, what do I need? I need paper. And I need my die cutting machine. Actually, I'm going to use this paper. It's one of those matchy-matchy books, and I'm going to pull out things that feel like it belongs. All right, definitely this one. You'll see what I'm going to do with it in a bit. I won't worry about that side. Okay, definitely this one. I need eight total, so that's one, two, three. Yeah, this is fine. Four, going for the food. Five... We're going to have food in, like, all of these. Six. Well, maybe not. Okay, I don't know about those fish looking at me. That's not... Okay, there we go. Seven. Eight. So we'll get these. And... I have to do this because I love this thing. It's my new little mini folder die. I keep moving my chair in and out of the way. And then I'm going to use my new little mini folder die. Oh, I need to charge my phone. Crap. I was originally planning to do this on my iPad. But then my iPad started to die. I have a messy desk, guys. I have to charge my phone. Give me a second. So that means that I have to be careful on you you guys making sure you can hear me so if you can't hear me just yell in all caps okay so my beautiful paper and everybody's gonna get two folders because i'm pretty sure oh yeah look at that two folders per person we're gonna cut the paper in half each person gets one of these and then each person gets one of those I'm going to move these out of the way. Oh my gosh, these just look cute in their baggies. And I'm right-handed. And everybody knows, oh, look at this, I have brown envelopes. So we're going to put the little mini folders in these cute brown envelopes. Because remember, I'm still trying to think of the 70s theme. So, one, two, three, four. Oh, that's not an envelope. That's a card. Three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, I don't have... A... Oh, I do have eight cards. Oh my gosh, is this really the perfect thing? So I have eight envelopes and eight cards. That works out perfectly. Those are going to go in the kit too, just because. Because it's brown. And I want it to be like that. Okay. Pull this baby. Oh, I just lost everything. I must have hit a button on my computer, so give me a second. Dag nab doggets. Now you have to put up with me getting rid of things. No, I don't want to download all the phone okay, the photos. Yes. I need to go back to Safari. Okay. These guys I need to just cut in half. We'll do it on this side because it's more straight. Yep. Happy about that. You're going to be cute. And you guys, Rose is the one who encouraged me to get this little folder thing, which was on my wish list. So thank you, Rose, because I freaking love this little folder thing.
I'm thinking I need new cutting plates at some point. Oh my gosh, did you see Care hair? You saw Care's crazy hair today. Oh, I've got the mess today. I don't even have a hat on. It's just crazy. And these are going to make the funniest little folders. Okay. We're going to do this. Everybody gets two cutesy folders. Okay, and now you're going to see why I love this so much. Ready? Well, you know, I do kind of like the fish side. Isn't it the cutest folder you've ever seen? Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, and if you don't want to see the fish faces, then you do it this way. You got a little gravy boat. And everything is fabulous as a tiny folder. Everything. So, I don't need this right here. We're gonna make our 16 folders. We'll put them in at like three pages each. Oh my gosh, I am so glad. It is just so cute. And even if you make it a little bit wonky, it still looks good. I'll show you. Right. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter on these pictures what wonky is and what's not. Okay, so we'll get our little crease. And it's sushi. He's so cute. Okay, now my goal is to have it folded one each way. So I actually do have a goal. That one looks upside down. Oh, well, that stinks. All right, well, the person can choose to flip it over if they want to. I made this one a chubby folder. See? He's a little bit wider. I squared him off. So when you get your folders, you can do that. You can just add, like, a tiny little crease right next to wherever the other little crease is. See? Two creases in there. And then he becomes a slightly bigger folder. But I do think that I would keep it that way. Let me just see a little bit. I think I'd keep it that way. Which way do you want to be? Definitely the salmon way. No, I didn't count how many. That's because I can never follow my own rules I make for myself. I didn't even see you sneak in. I know, I love Chinese, Thai, Japanese, all those foods. I think I just love food. I don't like the work of eating it though. Is that ridiculous? Cover up that little boy because um, these pumpkins are cuter. And I need to do a better job of making sure... What, oops, there's two there. It's corks. Oh, and this is white on the inside. This folder is supposed to have like a little crease to it, but I notice that only certain thicknesses do I get the crease. <laughs> Lots. <laughs> yeah, at that age, you're definitely a taxi driver. So let me flip all these over and do a better job of putting them in there upright. I could go into the fish folder business. <laughs> Sounds fishy to me, Lynn. <laughs> oh, killing me. I had a really good story. I was going to come upstairs and tell you guys my really good story. Because when I was watching TV earlier today, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to tell them. And you know what? I can't even remember what the really good story was. I have absolutely no idea. How bad is that? That's pretty bad. You know, the sushi goes on there. How many of you guys eat sushi? Oh, hey there, Kristen. 
Lovely to see you. And I love your name, Chris Crafting. And for some reason, I just read it as Chris Craft. You know, like Chris Cross, that singer from the 80s? Is that 80s, 90s? I don't know. So I read your name as Chris Craft. <laughs> oh, I was like, well, how come it doesn't look like a folder? That's because, woman, you haven't made it a folder yet. Okay, all of these are nice and upright, and we got four more folders. I just love these guys. They're just making me happy. It's my happy little world. You know, it's like He-Man and unicorns. It's just happy space. And why did my brain take me to He-Man? I don't have a clue. Maybe it's because I was talking to my son yesterday. Oh my gosh, aren't they just the cutest? And then if you want to, you can just gesso or put a little white something up at the top there. You don't even have to use the side that I'm folding. You can flip it over and it becomes the other side. That's all fine too. This one did a good crease. Oh, and this one's white on the inside. But my pumpkin looks upside down. Monkey nuggets. All right. I know, the salmon and avocado sushi. I freaking love. Um, you know what else I love? is I love eel, which they say unagi. And when I went to Japan, I was just, I know it sounds corny, but I said, guys, I have to have sushi in Japan. So I don't care where we go. And I don't want to go to some fancy place that everybody goes because we stayed just off Ginza Drive. Um all for work-related things. And so, went around the corner, went down the street, and then sandwiched in between two little buildings. There was like a stairway down, and we went down the stairway and into the darkest, cave-like, tiniest. I mean, it took a skinny person to walk down that stairway. It was a tiny stairway. And, um... You know what? Let's put these folders in here. Had sushi at a place that they didn't even speak English. And that was absolutely fabulous. Okay. I think I made too many of them where it's all on the same side. And so, at the time, my husband was not my husband. And we just worked together. And he used to say... He, he eats everything spicy, and so it was like, more wasabi. <laughs> and we were trying to describe what more was without saying more. And it was, I don't, I, I can't even describe how funny it was. Okay, so all these people are going to get them going upright this way. All right. I'll just put you on the back side. You'll get secret little folders in the back. Oh, and the hardest who get these are going to be so excited because these are crazy. Crazy crafts, crazy fun. Yeah, my husband loves sushi, I love sushi. And it's, it's a good combo. Although these days he doesn't eat it as much anymore because he can't have the soy sauce. Um, and so we go and he has noodles. Guys, did I make too many folders? How'd I do that? Well, you you all know I can't count, or I just didn't put them in all the pockets. So give me a second to make sure I put them in. Oh, I only have seven in here, that's why. I must have already put in, I did. I already put these, this bag has his already. And you go back in there. All right, time to make noise again. I'm going to make noise again. Sorry. It's going to be the plastic sound. That a horrible plastic sound. But it happens. 
And I'm singing the one for you, one for you, one for you song in my head again. Thank you, Lynn. Hugs. Did I just bonk the camera again? I don't think I did. Oh, so you use Bragg's instead of soy sauce. Well, what I make for my husband, which he says isn't a good substitute, is actually in my little recipe book. And I think after reading how much salt soy sauce has in it, I don't think anybody should use it. Because it is so, so much salt. And when I eat my sushi, I don't add anything to it. I do eat some of the ginger, but I don't add any soy sauce. I eat mine naked. All right, so we'll go in here and do the good old fashioned one of these, one of these. These, and I'm keeping my eyes peeled on where I'm supposed to be when I push these in here. But you can see in my process how sometimes somebody will get two of something and somebody will get one of something. Um, because, yeah, this is how it goes. Okay, that's it. Okay, and now I might have to take... Oh, I don't need to take them out to put these in. So we'll just put this... Oh, I do have to take them out. All right. You are going to get one envelope and one card. And you're going to get an envelope and a card. And you know what? I feel like after I do this added paper at the end, after I do the, the sheets of the 8 by 10s 8.5 by 11s whatever it is, that these kits are almost done because they're getting kind of chubby and I got to be able to put them into an envelope otherwise it gets all bent and tortured and I want it to be reasonably priced and shipping Don't fall. It does listen. Wait, so does Bragg's make more than just their apple cider vinegar? Oh, I just stepped on this. Something sharp I must have cut. Yeah, that's in there already. I have to get a little bit delicate now because I don't want to damage anything. Bragg's Aminos. I'll have to go check that out. I know my husband is like, more with wasabi. He loves his wasabi. Okay, now these guys... Let me see if I have room to put, I don't have room for eight pieces of paper. I have room for four. So we'll do them in two stacks. One, two, three, four. Oh, this is heavy cardstock. One, look how well it matches. Two, three, four. Go on to the next color. This is one girly, girly looking cookbook, but it needs to be. Ooh, that is heavy cardstock. 
Man, I kind of wish I would have bought more of that. This one's just sweet. Small amount. Man, I have to go check that out. Bragg's Aminos. All right, guys. I'm not sure that this one really totally matches, but I'm putting it in anyway. If they choose to use it on a different project, that's fine. This red is fabulous, though, isn't it? That does make me want to put the red fibers in there. Okay, so now we can fill four bags. Move my scissors out of the way. You're not craft like me. I am dangerous. Bag number one. Struggling to put the paper in. A smart woman would have put